By the way, these are uh, actual letters uh, sent to us by uh, actual viewers, uh, just like yourselves at home there. So here we go. And by the way, perhaps tonight is the night we read one of your letters. You know what I'm saying? It seems highly unlikely. Ah. <laughs> Think about it. Because <laughs> look, we're only reading four. <laughs> what are the chances we're reading your lousy letter tonight, huh? Damn near non-existent. <laughs> I'm just jerking your chain, relax. Here we go, letter number one. Dear Dave, uh, I was wondering if you and Paul ever had a fight in the middle of a show. Uh, Kulkarni, Kulkarni Abdabibu. Abhijit. Kulkarni Abhijit. Kulkarni Abhijit. Uh, the question is, if Paul and I, and Paul and I have known each other 20 years, have we ever had a fight in the middle of a show? I think I'd have to say uh, the, the answer is no, we haven't had a fight. Although, you know, I'll tell you what, recently I did have kind of an ugly episode with one of our stage managers, uh, Biff Henderson. Gosh, it went something like this. Biff and I were, for some reason... Biff, don't say a word. You were supposed to be home two hours ago. Dinner is ice cold. Look what I found on your shirt. Lipstick stains on your collar. I have one question for you, Biff. Who is she? She's my wife, Dave. Daddy, why is that crazy man in our house again? Just a little... We didn't think it was funny. We thought it was important you knew. <laughs> wow. <laughs> he, uh, he, he. Wow. Okay, letter number two. Here we go. Dear Dave, I have wondered, uh, does your weather reporting skills, uh, does, I've wondered, does your weather reporting skills still come in handy? Is that right? Is that cor correct grammar? I know I you're Canadian, your but you probably do have a wild hunch. I have wondered, correct. does your weather reporting skills yeah, still no. uh, come in handy? Incorrect. Yeah. Uh, how about your grammar skills? Do they still come in handy, pal? Yeah. Uh, this is from James Malone down there in Houston, Texas. And James is uh, referring, there was a period in my life uh, when I was actually a, a TV weatherman. I'm not, I'm not proud of it, but I was. I was a TV weatherman, and I knew, you know, like this El Dingo. I know nothing about that. Yeah. I know... <laughs> But the only thing I do remember is, how, you know, how to work the clicker. So we got a clicker hooked up here. You know, you, you've seen your dweeby local weather guy operate the clicker, and it goes like this. Let me see. Okay, that should be, what do we have? Oh, that's the national map, see? And you can see some kind of a, you got a high there, you got a trough, you, you got a, another big orange deal going there. Oh, look, look, down in the southeast you have lightning. Look at the size of that bolt of lightning. <laughs> Nearly the size of the state of Mississippi. Oh, my God, now that's lightning. That's king-size lightning. Okay, let's see, take another one. This is your five-day forecast, Friday, today, 53 and sunny, so, and then you do it one more time. What is it? Oh, that's, look, that's Al Roker. Let me just try it again. There's, oh. oh yeah. Tell you, if that would me, it'd take like six suns and Jupiter. You know what I'm saying, Paul? You know what I'm saying? You know what? You know what hey, 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 you know what I'm driving at? I hear you. Okay. Okay. We didn't think it was funny. We thought it was something you should know. Mm. It's like rehearsal in here, ain't it? Ah. <laughs> Only quieter. Ah. Uh, dear Dave. Uh, letter number three. Our friend here in uh, Sweden says he saw you on an episode of uh, Mork and Mindy. Is he mad? Uh, Stefan Alhag and Simon Sojin. Boy, the, getting some interesting names, some unusual <laughs> names. Yeah. Not seen these. Stefan Alhag uh -huh. and uh, si Simon Sijuden from, uh, <laughs> from uh, Sweden. And uh, the question is, was I uh, ever on an uh, episode of Mork and Mindy? Uh, you know, believe it or not, boys, uh, back in the late 70s, I did appear on the Swedish version of Mork and Mindy. <laughs> I, I played the, the wacky next door neighbor uh, Lars. Here, take yeah, a look. Will you have a Swedish kött på lär? In Sweden, it's man kött på lär. On my planet, man eats kött på lär. Oh my God! 
Dave York. Hey, Mindy. Oh, gosh, do I have some chocolate? Oh, no, thank you, but I will have some of this Swedish jello, though. Ha, ha. Mmm. Nanu, nanu. It's lonely out here on the prairie, don't it? Say, say it gets lonely out here on the prairie. Mm -hmm. I think you folks would be happy to have a place to get out of that damn storm. <laughs> okay, here we go. Letter number four. Uh, dear Dave, I'm sure you get a lot of requests like this, but I was wondering if you would consider letting me uh, propose to my girlfriend on your show. Oh, uh, the young man's name is uh, Carson Don from uh, Denver, Colorado. This is a great letter, and uh, whenever we get a little something like this, we, we try, you know, if we can, to play along. And we thought it was so cute, we uh, called the man up, we invited him to come to New York City to just do that very thing, propose to his girlfriend. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the excited young man, and be kind, because understandably, he's a little nervous. Here's Carson Dunn. Carson, come on in. Okay. Well, you must, okay. be, you must be scared, a little nervous? Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm going to stay out of this. You go right ahead. Okay. There's the camera. Do whatever you Just, need to do, Carson. Thank and you good so luck, so buddy. Much. Okay. Uh, Diane, we've been dating for nearly five years now, and I don't think I'm shocking you when I say that you mean the world to me. Um, so let, let me just say it. <laughs> Diane, will you marry me? Oh, that's great. Isn't that great? Huh? That's great. Good for you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Wow. It's, what is oh, it? the oh. phone is ringing. Be <laughs> darn, I wonder. Well, I bet that's her. Must um, be her. You think so? Yeah, 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 yeah. Did you give her the number of the studio? All my friends have it, yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay, there you go. See if that's her. Okay. Uh, hello? Yeah, hi, hey, Diane. It's her. Oh, it is her. <laughs> hi. Are, are you watching? Uh, yeah, okay, well, well, what do you think? Okay. Yeah, yeah, Dave is here, yeah. Um, sure, well, she wants to talk to you. Oh, thank you very much. Hi, hi, Diane, how you doing? Uh-huh. Did you pick out his tie? It's lovely. What can I do for you? No, I'm not married, no. <laughs> That's a, a lovely offer, but I, I'm sorry I couldn't really. Hey. Now, Paul is actually married and has a, a daughter. How old's your little girl? Four, four, four and a half. Four and a half years old. Uh, let me ask him. Alan? Mm -hmm. Diane wants to know if you're married. Uh, Dave, I'm gay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Diane. He's... Alan is gay. Yeah, he's right here. There you go. She wants to talk to you again. I... Hello? Hello? Really? She said yes. Oh, that's I said great. yes. I love you. I'm coming home. I'll be home soon. I'm getting married. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Much. You're a lucky man. You're like a wonderful I'm girl. Well, what do you think, Paul? Time to close the belt back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. It's been time for quite a while now. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, because we have that uh, ugly old storm blowing up the coast, we have to close up the CBS mailbag. Letters, we get letters. We get letters.